here he is, Mr. Big. Yeah, it was you, creep. What was me? Don't play innocent with us. I tried that when father caught me with Nanny. He gave me a good thrashing, and I've got half a mind to give you one. Hey, look, just get to the point. Someone stole our boxing trophies, buddy. They were heirlooms. Well, it wasn't me, rich boy, so relax. Well, if it wasn't you, then who was it? I bet it was those grease balls. I know it, they've always hated us. And so much for peace in our time, Popper. Just great. Let's get them. Yes, it's time to teach those poor, disrespectful scum a lesson. Wait, relax. Maybe it wasn't them. Maybe it was someone else. Nobody hates us, apart from them. Oh yeah, they do. Everyone hates you. You're all awful. Oh, la-dee-da, now he tells us. You are pathetic, Hopkins. You're not a leader. Out of my way. Come on, men. Let's go. Okay. It's war. Hold on. Wait here. I'll go get your trophy back from those grease balls. Oh, man. steal the preppies trophies no way man after the townie's been saying all that stuff about Lola and made Johnny crazy we don't care about those stuck-up jerks the townies really yeah and Johnny says you're no friend of ours anymore but since you got him out I'll let you walk away from this meeting well since I already beat you I guess I believe you Sucker! Ow! It bit me! Ha 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 ha! Better hope you don't get rabies. I can just imagine the look on their face when they get another crate of rats. <laughs> All the little nerds running around screaming like girls. <laughs> Hurry up! 
can't be late for the party at the docks. Hey, quit squirming. We gotta remember to put a few air holes in the crate. <laughs> rats in the library. Awesome. I heard rats actually like to eat books. Man, wouldn't that be awesome? Man, I hope these little guys don't have fleas. Man, I hope one of them bites the librarian. She's such a cow. Man, I hope these little guys don't have fleas. Gotta remember to put a few air holes in the crate.
failed again. Like a butterfly, sting like a... Ugh, I need to come up with something new. Well, Pauper, what did you find? Yeah, who took our trophies? Don't tell me. It was the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> either it was the Tooth Fairy or the Grease Balls. I wonder which one. Actually, trust fun babies. It was neither. It was those townies. Which townies? The ones who hang out by the factory. Them? Why would they steal our trophies? Don't talk crap, Hopkins. I'm not. I've got a picture to prove it. Why? They don't have any problems with us. Yeah, poor kids just love rich kids who act like stuck-up jerks, don't they? Listen, you over-fortunate numbskull. They did everything. Put Johnny Vincent in the home, let the rats out of the library, everything, including your trophies. Why? Because I listened to Gary. So it is your fault. No, it was Gary's fault. You, my friend, have got delusions of grandeur. Nobody cares about you or Gary. You're ridiculous. Come on, Biff. Let's leave this king of the school to his pathetic little fantasies. You are an idiot, Hopkins. I've got a photograph. You know what you can do with that, don't you? Ah, Hopkins. Now, I'm not one to give in to popular sentiment. You can tell that by your clothes. What? I'm saying you dress great. Irrelevant. As I said, I am not a people pleaser, but in your case, I'm going to make an exception. An exception? Cool. Yes, you are without a doubt the least popular boy in this school right now. Even that fat child who wets himself is more popular than you. Coincidentally, it has also come to my attention that you are a filthy, dirty, foul-mouthed, awful little vandal. Yeah, well, we already knew that. Very droll. A comedian till the end. Well, you'll have to pursue your comedic talents elsewhere, boy. Bullworth is not for you. I'm not the one who's funny. You know what's funny? You. You're a joke, you old creep. You and your stuck-up, lame-ass school with its bullies and sex-pest teachers. This place is a dump, and you're a big-nosed freak. This school rewards losers and bullies. I just stand up to them. You painted obscene graffiti on the town hall, boy. I have it on good authority it was you. Oh, yeah? Then who squealed? Tell me that. A commendable pupil did feel the need to tell me you were responsible for this outrage. Gary Smith! Look, I may have painted a few jokes on the town hall, but that kid likes to torture people. Gary Smith is the next head of this school. He's responsible, courteous, and not afraid of being an unpopular leader. You are blind, old man. Blind! And you are leaving. I tried to contact your mother, but she's still off on a cruise. Until I hear from her, I will have to let you stay here in your room. But you may not wear the school uniform or uh, attend classes. Gotta be kidding you are me. leaving the academy to attend to your education elsewhere. Now get out! Whatever, man. Hey, Jimmy. How you doing? Terrible. Everybody hates me. Everybody might hate you, but everybody laughs at me. Yeah, that's true. Those kids are jerks anyway, but I tried. I know! I mean, I tried to do the right thing, make people happy, stop all the fighting, make everyone calm down. Now everyone laughs at me. People used to be scared of me, and now I'm a joke! It was Gary. It must have been. I know! I can't deal with the fact that that kid beat me! Well, it ain't over yet. God, one minor setback and you're acting like a baby. You're pathetic. I've been expelled. They're just waiting for my mother to come back from her 58th honeymoon, then I'm out of here. How was that a minor setback? Losers! Oh, shut up, you fat dork. Whatever. You and your has-been friend don't scare me. See? Even a dork like that laughs at me. 
We gotta prove Gary was behind everything. We don't even know if it was Gary. All we know is townie kids beat up a bunch of Bullworth kids. I mean, I don't even care anymore. Well, we've got to find out what's going on. Come on! Okay, but if we're gonna take on those townies, we're gonna need a bunch of backup. Someone big who doesn't hate me yet. Russell. Russell. He'll be at his house at Old Bullworth Vale. Man. Russell, I need your help to bust into the dropout's hideout. Only if Russell gets to destroy. They're locked! Ah! Oh, that's gotta hurt! <laughs> Boom! Uh-oh, this doesn't look so good! What the hell do you think you're doing? What do you mean? Smashing into our barricade like that? Completely out of control. Are you crazy? I've got to talk to that Edgar kid. I don't think he wants to talk to you. And you can't get in while the power is out anyways. You're asking for it! <laughs> 
around here. Gotta go through the Red Star building. This gate is controlled by an electronic security switch. I think it's in the office. There's gotta be something around here to smash. Restored, we've got to get to the chem plant. And to do that, we've got to take on Omar. He's Edgar's right hand man. He's the only one with the key to the plant. Never been. Get the switch, dumbass! 
when this is supposed to be hurt. All of them. Hang on, Jimmy. You'll see. Hey! Hey, you? if you date me now, you'll be able to tell your friends about it in the future when I made it big. kind around here.
You know, you're all right, Jimmy. Yeah, okay. See ya. What the hell are you doing here? Looking for you, Zoe. I think I'm in love. Don't be ridiculous. Haven't you heard? Heard what, my love? The school has broken out into a massive fight. Every gang and faction is fighting each other. What? Yeah. Oh, man, I gotta go. How am I gonna deal with this? I'm gonna need some serious backup. Where's Russell? Where's your buddy Edgar? R Russell has been holed up in the Wonder Meat slaughterhouse, hiding from the cops. He's worried about going to prison after stealing that bike. Russell can comprehend prison? Wow. Look, I'll see you later. Well... What about love? It'll have to wait, Zoe. Duty calls.
you like white on rice. You just don't get it, do you? Jimmy, there you are. I don't know what to do, and I smell like meat. Grrr, grrr. What are you hiding from? I'm here for your safety! Thanks, Jimmy! Come on, we gotta get to the school! All hell's breaking loose! Hey, Jim, this is your turf. What the hell's going on? The whole place has gone mental. Yeah, it's your old friend Gary. He's the one causing all the trouble. The kid's a complete psycho, and now he's got the teachers and prefects on his side. So? So, we run in there, try to stop the fighting, and find a way to deal with Gary. <laughs> all right, one question. How are we gonna stop a load of kids from beating the crap out of each other? It's America. We go in there with threats and bribes until we get what we want. If all else fails, we beat the crap out of everyone. That's why I brought along backup. Russell likes to hurt people for peace. Cool. Then it's a plan. Damn! They're locked! Don't worry. Russell will get it. Grrr! Kind of hurt. Edgar, we'll take out the gang leaders. Without them, Gary's got nothing. This is awesome. What the hell are you doing, Johnny? Why are you taking orders from Gary? Shut up, Jimmy. You left us and everything went down the toilet. I beat you once, I'll beat you again. <laughs> this is the best! Ted, I need you to help me. Get lost, Jimmy. You ain't nothing. You're just asking for it. Now, Russell, man! I'm all staying beat down, too. <laughs> <laughs> 
Dirk, someone's here to see. Oh, it's the thug. Don't worry, boys. I'll deal with him. You're getting really tiresome, Darby. Cut it out. Now, Russell Man! You're about to be burdened with a black eye. I thought you'd be too poor to fight me. Kiss my face! You nerd! What were you thinking? You fool! You don't see it! Gary's got a plan! A great plan! You idiot! Gary's plans are a load of crap! I should know! You don't get it! My brains and his lack of morals, nothing can stop us! Whatever! I'm gonna stop you both! <laughs> You bunch of bitches! <laughs> that was incredibly satisfying! Edgar, go help everyone calm down. I've got some business with Gary. Understood. Good luck. <laughs> you, what is that in your head? Weapons are for prefects only. No! Get off my little body! Grr! Grr! 
slow down so Russell can smash you! Aw, oh, come on! Your attention, please! Jimmy is complete human trash! Gary, you little bitch! Come out! James, I've been waiting! Let the games begin! Gary! Moron! Why'd you do it, Gary? Why not? I won! I tricked everyone! Starting with you, the head, the loser kids in town, and the prefects! Me! I won! You are sad, man! I might be sad, but I run your world, moron! And don't you forget it! You did all my dirty work for me, Hopkins! You're like a puppet, only dumber! Whatever! Let's finish this! Special delivery! Got something for ya! If you prove to be one thing this year, it's slow! You'll never catch me, Hopkins! You're too trusting, Jimmy. From the start, you were pathetically naive. Jimmy, all alone and big scary Bullworth, under fire from Russell and his goons, desperate for help. So sad, so hopeless, just needing a friend, any friend. You were so easy to manipulate, Jimmy. And once we were friends, it was all so clear. You had your lust for power, but without intelligence to back it up, using you as a pawn was so wonderfully obvious. Let Jimmy have his fun. Let him play his childish little games with Ernest, Ted, Darby, Johnny, and Edgar, and just wait for the right moment to swoop in and take it all. Dominoes. It all felt together so perfectly. I was in the door planning while you were racing bikes. You're just another punk! You win, and you'll be sent away even quicker for beating up the head boy! Why'd you do it, Gary? Because I can! Because making little people like you and the morons who run this place eat out of the palm of my hand feels great! But I never did anything to you! You would've if I'd given you the chance! Face it, I'm smarter than you! Oh, congratulations! <laughs> You're smarter than me! You hate everyone, and everyone hates you! Genius! The head likes me! I tied him up, turned his dumb school into a battleground, got kids expelled, unfairly, put several others into therapy, and he still likes me! You're such a loser! <laughs> well, at least my mom doesn't make her living on her back! You're dead! <laughs> I can take you, Hopkins! Jimmy, move, jackass! After you're expelled, get out of my way!
Smith! I heard the whole thing! You're expelled! Come and untie me, boy! Yes, sir! <sighs> Sorry, didn't see you there. You know, I think I may have judged you too unfairly, boy. Yes, a little rough around the edges, but you're a diamond, boy. A diamond. Thank you, sir. Now take out the trash, would you, Hopkins? My pleasure. So it was you who took on this monstrous little wretch, was it? Yep. <laughs> what a hero. A lone wolf. Uh-huh. Well, no. To be honest, sir, I did have a lot of help from some friends. Like this girl, Zoe. She got expelled because she complained about Mr. Burton hitting on her. Burton? Well, he's fired. I hope he rots in hell. And a guy named Peter Kowalski, good friend of mine. Never heard of him. Yeah, well, he keeps quiet. He's kind of shy. Shy? The boy must be a genius. Why, well, he should be head of the school. Pete? Great idea. Now, about that letter to my mother. What letter? Finally, everything is sorted out, more or less. I mean, I don't want to say we're going to live happily ever after or anything like that, but life is certainly going to get easier. Mm.